rest for the wicket out in Korea as match number four is just around the corner. But how did you and I get on in match number three? We're going to take a little look next. Let's try, folks, back once again with another prediction video. This time we're looking forward to match day number four out in Korea. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things K-League related, but Rovers related, world football related. We're going to know here. A no one. That's right, boys and girls. As uh, other leagues around the world get ever closer to returning to action, the K-League, of course, did set precedence and get in there, get the old football back in the old spotlight, of course, uh, behind closed doors, but uh, setting a precedent for other leagues around the world. So, yeah, we're going to continue to follow the K-League into match number four and have a little look how we, how we all got on then, shall we? Oh, here we go, folks. Here's the criteria, just again, just to let you know. If you get 0 to 2, you're in the shit face gang. You're in the, if you get to 3 to 4, you're in the straight face club. If you get 5 plus, you're in the top banana. Now, there's been a couple of predictions uh, this week from you guys. So we'll take a look at those in a minute. Um, but let's have a look at the score lines then, shall we? How, 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 we, how I did. So kicking us all off, it was the Pohang Steelers. They took on FC Seoul. That ended up as a 2-1 win for the visitors. Uh, Ilichenko scoring for the Pohang Steelers on the fifth minute with Hyung So Hwang getting the equaliser on the 35th minute. Uh, Osmar getting the, uh, the, the winner, though, on the 74th minute to give all three points to the visitors. FC Seoul, that's right, 2-1 in the end. I actually went 2-1 the other way uh, in favour of the Pohang Steelers. So I got that bad boy wrong. But I did, uh, I did make it up for it in the next few uh, few fixtures then. Uh, next up it was Gang 1 FC. They took on Sungnam FC. Uh, that bad boy ended up as a 1-1 draw. Uh, Mu Yu Go got on the score sheet for Gang 1 uh, in the 18th minute. Sung Hyung Kwan getting the equaliser on the 57th minute. So that ended up 1-1. I actually went with a 2-2 draw on that one. So not too shabby, boys and girls. Next up it was Su Wong Samsung Blue Wings. It's the old, my, the old Rovers of the, uh, the K-League. Uh, they took on Incheon United. That ended up as a 1-0 victory for uh, Su Wan Samsung Blue Wings. Uh, Yum King Hun scoring on the score sheet on the 62nd minute from the penalty spot. And I got that one. Bang on the flipping nose, boys. Bang on the flipping nose. That's right. Uh, so, yeah, it's not too shabby indeed. Next up, it was Sangju Sangmu. Uh, they took on Guangzhou FC. That ended up as a comfortable 2-0 uh, win for Sangju Sangmu. Uh, Sang Wu Kang on the score sheet on the 6th minute. Uh, was that a 1-0 win? Uh, I've got a 1-0 win down on my notes here, so yes, uh, that was a final score there. I actually went with a 2-0 victory uh, on that one, so again, not too shabby indeed. Get the right winner, Sangju Sangmu with the victory in the end. Next up it was uh, John Book Hyundai Motors. Uh, they took on, uh, who did they take on? Digu FC. That ended up as a 2-0 win uh, for John Book Hyundai Motors. Marilio Henrique on the score sheet in the 48th minute um, with Kyo Sungju in the 71st I minute. Mean, he also got himself a red card on this one, so so pretty poop in the end. So I went down with a 2 nil win on that one. 3-1 uh, for me. Ain't too shabby indeed. And then wrapping up the old uh, fixtures on match day number three was Ulsan Hyundai. They took on Busanai Park. And then it was a 1-1 draw. The goal was coming from Junior Negrado in the 81st minute. That's the equaliser for Ulsan Hyundai. Jung Hyung Lee uh, got the uh, the opening goal on the 57th minute. Junior Negrado getting himself his fifth goal of the season so far. Uh, actually with a 2 0 win on that one as well. So not too shabby indeed, boys. Not too shabby. Uh, for me in the old prediction. Match number three, uh, this is what the old table looks like. Jumbuk FC doing absolute bits at the moment at the top of the table. Uh, down the bottom is Guangzhou, still struggling a little bit. But um, there's still another random of fixtures, folks. So we'll, we'll see how they get on in match day number four. So you saw how I got on with the old predictions. What about you guys? Well, let's take a look at some of the old uh, viewers out there. And huh, he went in and he got a pretty shitty round of, uh, uh, of predictions, but I'm sure he'll do better next time around. What about Yannick Bustler, regular predictor on the channel? He did pretty good for himself. Not too shabby. Aaron Sharif also chipped in with a not too shabby scoreline on the old predictions as well. There you go, boys. There you go. Well done. Thank you for participating in the old K-League. Um, so next up, we've got, uh, what have we got? We've got the... Okay there, folks. Let's take a look at match day number four coming at you. We're going to start off with Digu FC. They're going to take on Sangju. Sangmu, this bad boy, is uh, taking place on Friday, the 29th of May. The last six encounters between two sides so is three wins for Daegu, uh, two draws and one win for Sangju. Sangmu. Uh, heading into this, uh, the last time they played over in Daegu was a 1-0 win back in 2019. It was about this time last year, actually. Uh, about May, uh, May the 3rd, I think, uh, 2019. Heading into this, Daegu have actually failed to win the last six home matches in the OK League. And Daegu have also failed to score in five of the last seven matches 
as well. Heading into this, Sangu Sangmu have actually come into this, uh, winning two of the last three games out in the old K League. The bookmakers' odds go 21 to 20 for Daegu. The hosts, 9 to 4 of the draw, 12 to 5 for the away win. Now, a win for uh, Daegu. Currently find themselves in 10th spot. Could see themselves rise to at least 5th spot on the old table. Uh, whereas the uh, the visitors, Sangu Sang, Sangju Sangmu, they could see themselves rise from 4th all the way up to top of the table, of course. Uh, we've got a, a results, uh, the results dependent on that bad boy. Uh, for me, I'm going to go with a cheeky 1-0 uh, win for the host, Daegu. Uh, it's picking up themselves their first victory of the campaign and moving themselves further up the table. Next up, we have Gang 1 FC. They're going to take on Genbook Hyundai Motors, of course. Uh, they're flying high at the top of the table, winning 3 out of 3 so far. Taking on Gang 1, uh, over in Gang 1 as well. The last six encounters between two sides, he's one win for Gang 1, four wins for Genbook, uh, and one draw along the way. The last time they played over in Gang 1 was like a, a cracker. Six goal belter, 3 3 in the end. Um, the last time they played each other uh, in, in any old venue was a 1 0 win for Genbook Hyundai Motors. That was around about Christmas time, uh, 2019. Uh, Genbook have actually won 14 in the last 17 matches against Gang 1 FC in all competitions. Uh, and they also undefeated their last 13 away matches in the K League. They'll fancy the chances as well. And the bookmakers will probably go with it. 7 to 2 is for Gang 1 FC for the win. 5 to 2 is the draw. Uh, 11 to 8 on for Junbuk Hyundai Motors. Of course, they fly on top of the table at the moment. A win can extend that lead uh, possibly to 5 points, depending on what goes on beneath them in the old table. Gang 1 FC, they currently find themselves uh, in 7th spot. A win away from going up to 2nd of the table. Uh, but for me, uh, I think I'm going to go with the, the visitors on this one. Yeah, 2 0 win in favour of Junbuk Hyundai Motors. Put your money on that bad boy if you fancy it. Next up, we have uh, Gangju FC taking on Ulsan Hyundai. Of course, the other Hyundai side. Um, Ulsan Hyundai coming in the, in the second of the table, winning two of the past three games. Uh, whereas uh, Gwangju FC currently find themselves bottom of the table, losing at least or, or all three of the games at the moment. Uh, the last six encounters between two sides sees one win. Sorry, scrap that. The last three encounters, the last six encounters between two sides sees zero wins for Gangju, three wins for Ulsan Hyundai. And, uh, and three draws along the way. The last time that these two sides played each other in Gang, uh, Guangzhou uh, was a 1-1 draw back in uh, October 2017. It goes back a little bit. It was a 1-1 draw. Guangzhou have actually failed to score in the last three matches in the K-League. Uh, whereas Olsen Hyundai, Olsen Hyundai are actually uh, undefeated in 28 of the last 31 matches in the K-League. The bookmakers will go with them as well on this one. 4-1 uh, for Guangzhou to get the victory. 13-20 to 20 on in favour of Olsen Hyundai. 5-2 uh, to is the draw. I did say that um, Olsen Hyundai are actually uh, 7 points at the moment. Uh, 3 points or 2 points adrift of uh, their leaders. But a win, they could go top of the table if they're victorious and results go their way. Uh, for me, what have I gone with on this one? I think I've gone with the away team on this one as well. I've gone with the 1-0 win for Ulsan Hyundai to take three points again. Put the pressure on the leaders. Uh, maybe just sneak over to the top spot themselves. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, next up we have, what do we have? We have uh, Busan Eye Park taking on Suwon Samsung Blue Wings. Uh, this takes place over in Busan over on Saturday the uh, 30th of May. 11 o'clock kickoff. I don't know what time zone that is. That could be yours. I don't know. It might be mine. Uh, but anyway, last time these, these two sides played against each other, they've never played each other. Uh, Suwon uh, Blue Wings are actually undefeated in their last eight matches against Busan Eye Park in all competitions. I've got no records against their, their previous meetings. I do apologise. Busan Eye Park actually uh, drawn their last three home matches against Suwon uh, Samsung Blue Wings. Uh, in all competitions. Um, so they fancy the chances to get something out of this game. The bookmakers' odds on this one also take, so take place on uh, Saturday as well. 15-8 to 8 for Busan Eye Park for the victory. 21-10 is the away, is the draw. 7-5 is the uh, away win. Uh, a win for Sue One Blue Wings. Could see the rise from 8th all the way up to 3rd, depending on what goes on elsewhere. A win for Busan Eye Park. Currently find themselves as 11th. Could see them rise above uh, into 6th spot. Uh, depending on what goes on elsewhere. Uh, uh, Sue, uh, Sue Samson Blue Wings are my boys. They've got an extra over in the team. That's the only reason I'm supporting them. Uh, and I'm going to go with a 2 0 win for Sue One Samson Blue Wings. Hit three points. And again, maybe climb up the table a little bit further and maybe apply, apply some pressure. Uh, next up, we have FC Seoul taking on Sungnam FC, bad boys. Uh, this game takes place on Sunday, I believe, uh, 31st of May. Uh, the last six encounters between two sides sees four wins for FC Seoul uh, and two wins for Sungnam FC. No draws the past six games. Uh, the last time I played over in Seoul, it was a 3-1 win back in 2019. around about May time. Uh, comfortable win in the end for the hosts. Uh, the last time they played each other anywhere uh, was over in Sungnam. It was a 1-0 win for Sungnam in the end. So, 
Uh, in fact, FC Seoul have won three of the past four meetings between these two sides. The bookmakers' odds on this one, they go with 11-10 uh, for FC Seoul, 5-2 for the away win for Sungnam FC, and 23-10 is the draw. Uh, FC Seoul find themselves in third spot at the moment, a win away from going top, depending on what goes on elsewhere, uh, whereas Sungnam FC, they currently find themselves um, in fifth spot. Uh, unbeaten at the moment, five points on the board so far. Uh, looking to uh, uh, get a win, we'll see them go up to second, potentially what, on uh, whatever else goes on elsewhere. Next up, we have Incheon United taking on the Pool Hang Steelers. That's right, over in uh, Incheon United, wherever they play. Uh, the last six encounter sees one win for Incheon United, uh, four wins for the Pool Hang Steelers, and one draw along the way. However, there's no however. Uh, there is a however. The last time they played in Incheon United Stadium, it was a one 0 win to the Pool Hang Steelers. Uh, in fact. Um, in fact, the last time that these two sides met, it was an eight-goal thriller going in favour of the Pohang Steelers in about August 2019. Inter United have actually drawn six of the last seven home matches in the K-League and failed to score in four of the matches as well. So looking pretty uh, uh, lacklustre in front of goal. Bookmakers go with the away team on this one. Three to one for Inter United for the victory. 11 to five is the draw. 11 or 10 uh, for the away win for the Paul Hang Steelers. A win for Paul Hang could see him rise from sixth all the way up to second. Uh, a win for Inchon United, the hosts. They could go from ninth all the way up to fifth in the table, depending on what goes on elsewhere. And let's just say, between you and I, that these fixtures would have come on in just the way I say it. This is what the table will look like after match day number four. Bada bing! Yes, Jump Book United uh, would be top of the table. Olsen Hyundai would be second with 10 points on the board. FC Seoul would be in third, seventh on the table. Guangzhou would still be at the bottom of the table with zero points, boys. Be sure to get your own predictions for match day number four down in the old predictions slot, down in the old comment section down below, so we can take a little look at them next time around and feature you on the channel, boys and girls. Yes, match day number five is next. Of course, looking forward to that bad boy. Hopefully you guys are too. Uh, be sure to give this video some loving. Smash your thumbs up. And of course, smash the subscribe if you're new. New videos every single day on the channel, whether it's football manager, predictions. I was going to say FIFA, but that's on the, on the back burner for the time being. But yes, so far so good out in uh, the K-League. Hopefully you enjoyed it until then. Be sure to check out the description links to my other social media platforms are in there. Twitter, Facebook, and of course, Patreon. If you want to support the channel in another way, that's the way to do it. Until then, boys. I'm out.